the best and worst cities to drive in in 2024. Before I moved to Nebraska, I used to be of the belief that you drove a car till somebody totaled it out for you. Our dearly beloved Omaha, oh, we were we ranked like 42nd overall. Oakland, California, Philadelphia, and some of these are pretty bad on the overall ratings. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. We're talking about electric vehicles, green energy, and the stock market. We're moving on to our top story of the day. The best and worst cities to drive in in 2024. Bill and I, we've had weird discussions on this topic because the fact that I used to be, before I moved to Nebraska, used to be of the belief that you drove a car till somebody totaled it out for you. Basically, that was my experience is that and I, I lived in Memphis for 20 years before I lived in Nebraska. I lived here for a little over 10. And here, never been in an accident. I've seen accidents here, but they're really rare. And I was just like, but in Memphis, I see accidents all the time. And if I go back down there, I pretty much have a near-death experience every day I'm there. And it's just, it's just different. I mean, we have very stress-free driving in Nebraska. We, we've talked about this a couple times because like, man, you know, my car insurance is so much lower here and so many things. So anyways, these statistics rank cities based on a bunch of cost of ownership and maintenance is an interesting factor, traffic and infrastructure, safety, and access to vehicles and maintenance. Now, I wouldn't imagine that, I I guess I've always taken for granted you can go buy a car somewhere So apparently, overall, number one was Raleigh, North Carolina. And it doesn't rank, it ranked number two in cost of ownership and maintenance. So apparently there's a lot of cheap mechanics in Raleigh, is all I I can imagine. But it is kind of interesting to see. Then we get down to the number two city is Boise, Idaho. Okay, now, cost of ownership. Now, this is rating 100 cities. This is fascinating. Boise is ranked number one in safety in the country. And that was enough. Even though it was number 81 in one of the categories, it still was good enough to rank number two. And as you go through these others, Corpus Christi didn't rank particularly high in anything. Greensboro was number one in cost of ownership. But when we get down here to one that's kind of relevant to us, number 13 was Lincoln, Nebraska. Now, Lincoln is a city that is a little about half the size of Omaha. Okay. It's the second biggest city in Nebraska, ranked 18th for cost of ownership, 52nd for traffic and infrastructure. To be fair, it's hard to get around in in Lincoln. It does not have a great system for getting through the town other than, you know, going down I-80, you know, and part of it, but that doesn't really get you around the town. It's slow going through most of the city. And it ranked 89th in access to vehicles. So I guess it doesn't have a lot of places to buy a car. But it ranked number 12 in safety. Our dearly beloved Omaha is a little further down the list. Oh, we were we ranked like 42nd overall. So almost middle of the pack, which I th- found kind of fascinating. It said 25th in safety. Anyways, I'm going to scroll down a little further down the list to where the worst ones were. Oakland, California, Philadelphia, and some of these are pretty bad on the overall ratings. But I can sort this, and this got kind of it. So safety was the one thing I was most concerned about. So cost of ownership and maintenance, people don't really think about that much when they're talking about driving. Traffic and infrastructure, well, that's kind of cool. So Scottsdale ranks as number one for traffic and infrastructure. Also, Scottsdale is an enormous city. But there are a lot of highways to get around and try to dodge traffic and things like that. Um, just a lot there. I would argue this number two rating for Orlando, traffic and infrastructure. I find driving there to be a pain in the butt. Okay. And so I, I, I've gone, I go to Orlando every year, sometimes several times a year, and... I just don't see it being that great for traffic and infrastructure. And a lot of it is because the, it's always growing. You've got all these towns that are tightly around that Metro and there's just a lot of traffic. I can't really comment on Lubbock or Irvine, Irvine, 
Tulsa's kind of surprising. Tulsa's not a hard city to get around. So, I don't know. Wichita, not a real huge. Well, Wichita's probably about as big as Omaha, right? Probably pretty similar. Oh, I've been there a few times for tennis tournaments. Um, let me see. But just kind of looking at some of these, it was kind of interesting. I'm not sure how they pick some of this. See, Birmingham being number 10, and I don't know, that kind of doubt some of that. But safety. Safety's one, though, you can pick from insurance statistics, right? So the rate of accidents, serious accidents. So I, I thought this got kind of interesting. It's rating like Boise, Anchorage, Gilbert, Laredo, Texas, Irvine, California, all being very the safest places to drive. Henderson, Nevada, which surprised me, that's part of Las Vegas. Scottsdale, El Paso, Virginia Beach. Lincoln ranked 12th in safety. Omaha, um... I'm thinking was, oh, we're number 25, which I would have guessed we would have been much better off in the safety category. The But when I flip this, reverse it, my old hometown of Memphis, Tennessee, came in 100th out of 100. Yeah, so I, I thought, and then like I was in St. Louis recently. It ranked number eight or 98. I mean, some of these, Atlanta, Georgia was terrible at 97. You know, it's funny. I don't think Atlanta is that hard to get around. Um, it has so many interstates. Washington, D.C. ranked 94th in safety. You're having a... And that's one place. They rank 97th in infrastructure. I would have almost pegged it dead. I would have pegged it dead last. So 97 out of 100, I guess, isn't bad on that one. But I, I found just some of this kind of fascinating. I, I don't know... Where, like I'm saying, the cost of total cost of ownership, I don't know how heavily that should weight access to vehicles and maintenance. I mean, is it, are there really cities you have trouble finding cars to buy or places to get maintenance? So, hardest place to buy vehicles or to get maintenance is Anchorage. It's like, well, you know, I, I don't know. So, some of these were quite interesting. I, I, I just thought. That, that was some pretty fascinating statistics. It didn't surprise me that Memphis was worse than safety because I, I've just, wow. It is just crazy when you enter Shelby County, which is the county it resides in, just how bad drivers are. Um, just And a lot of it is just constant people cutting in and out of lanes. You'll be going the speed limit on the interstate. Let's, let's say the speed limit is 55 and you're going 60 and somebody passes you going 100. And it's in unlike four lanes 